All right, let's get this shared out beforehand. Hello, everybody. We are going to share the video a few places before we get started, um, just to give people a chance to to join us. This is kind um, of a surprise live thing, so yeah, we just got a FedEx shipment this morning um, of some samples from the factory. <clears throat> Masters core game, but we have pretty much everything from the Street Masters uh, Aftershock Kickstarter uh, except for the uh, storage box, the Aftershock box. We don't have that one yet. That sample I think might have been shipped separately. Um, we'll talk to Blacklist about that and see where the. Make sure you talk is. loudly too because people have complained about our audio. So make sure. Well, they don't really need to hear us that much. They're just here to see you the said pretty pictures. To share the, the Blacklist page. group. And you can also leave a comment on the Aftershock. Kickstarter comments, in case anybody's following it. Um, Hold on. I'm not opening anything yet. This right here, I'll just show you this. This was uh, shipped separately. This is the Errata Pack, which is anybody who buys, who, who went to the Kickstarter to just get the updated cards. They're all shipped in this package here with this rule book. Um, hi, Kato, or no, I just mentioned that. We don't have the, the big box. I think it might be sh being shipped separately. Um, but we'll do a video for that too. Yeah, right? we'll, we'll definitely do a video of showing that one off. Um, I think we have some pictures though that Scotty might be showing on an update uh, soon. I think. All I need to do is put it on the, I think just the comments. But so yeah, this is the Arata Pack. Got all these fixed cards. Um, of all the Street Masters cards, there's really not that many. Um, but we wanted to clean up some language, make things more consistent. There were some reworked cards, um, like Max's deck, for example, just got a total overhaul. And then, the, uh, changed. and then the rule book, fixed rule book. Did that just come in the mail? Yes, yeah. but it just so came in the this factory morning. sent us these are these are sample pre production samples to make sure everything looks good. Yeah, um, so the so. just just we'll, and we'll we'll probably have to answer this question multiple times. These are the copies essentially that before they start mass producing or anything, they send us like here's what the finals are gonna look like. So they're just giving us a sample of everything essentially. So I don't know if we need to open up the the uh, errata pack, but I just wanted to show off. This is what the errata pack is. It this nice, is it'll come in this stuff, you know, nice little cardstock backing, which is nice, keeps the rule book flat. Now this right here, um, if you get the Aftershock Pledge level, I believe all this stuff anyway is going to be integrated into the game. The and there, game. There's, the rule book is gonna be included in the Aftershock Stretch Goals box, which we will open soon to double check. Um, because this the extra rule book is supposed to be in there for people who wanted the fixed rule book. Cracking the shrink. So most of this is unchanged. The, the main thing about the box, um, there were some updates to the component counts because um, some of those were off last time, so they fixed the component counts. Um, changed some of the uh, description text here because we, we dissed the tagline, Rise of the Kingdom, it's just a Street Masters is the title of the game instead of having a subtitle. Um, everything else is pretty, pretty much the same as far as the box is concerned. Yeah, we, we, uh, we always keep things up to date. So this is the core game, which is going to have the updated rule book. Make sure that and you that confirm that is updated. It's been so long. I totally forget what's the easiest way to tell what the fix was. For your first game. Well, the that's new. yeah, that's yeah, new that's new. But there's also stuff here like this is new. The component counts and stuff are all new. No, no weird graphics issues. Looks yeah, good. The one that was we caught last time was right there. Yeah. So we have our boards. The, that's the updated rule book. Still nice and trim, uh, 16 pages. Didn't grow any bigger, but just cleaned it up a little bit. Um, stage tiles unchanged. Tokens. Nice sheet of punch board there. Another stage tile, should be four of these. Looking very crisp. Now I could be mistaken, but that looks, yeah, same one, yeah, there we go, and then Nice. Like usual, he's punched very nicely. And we got the cashed out stage. More tokens. health tokens, the damage tokens. We got our gone ballistic and right to remain silence. So here's one of the new things is we have this insert here. This is pretty cool because it has this nice plastic covering right now. Pop this off. 
you'll have a very cool looking miniatures tray here for all the minis. They fit very nice in here. There's a little tab here to pull them out. You got your bases, dice, Dividers. Get a better view here, I guess. You got your loot cards down here. All of our cards, so many cards. Now the cool thing about this new tray is you'll just notice the card well is attached to this thing. When this comes out, it'll have another miniatures tray at the bottom that also has a little plastic cover. Those are different. The bases? Yeah. Oh, nice. These, these, the base rings have been changed because the ones we used before apparently uh, this got discontinued. So you'll see the blue color is a little different and these are uh, much more flexible. So they kind of just put on, they fit on like kind of like a glove. Um, so you just squeeze it on the, the base there. This is just a fighter, it's not a minion. So he, this minion fighter would not normally have uh, a base ring, but. Well, these new, uh, these new trays are really nice. These, like I said before, the well is part of this back tray here and underneath it is this. Now, you probably don't want to use this once you open it up because if you use the card well, depending on how you store your game, if you got the Aftershock box, you won't this, be able to have- fit underneath here? Yeah, you won't be able to have the sliders because these sit flush with the card tops. So you'll want to take this away, but then when you put those at the bottom, put the, put the uh, map tiles down there. You probably have to straighten them out a little bit. That's fine. I don't think because like there's enough room uh, at the top for the for the punch board which you don't need anymore. So once this goes down at the bottom, you shake it out a little bit. Yeah, because uh, honestly, you probably want to put the uh, the other one underneath this first. You need to, you need to put, those, put those on here before you put it in. There you go. And then sit down in there. That way, when you it's hard to do it upside down. So when you put your, uh, come on, cards, we got cards, it's tray. But yeah, when you put this back down there, so now when you put your cards in, you'll have some room at the top for your dividers to sit in, so nothing's sitting on top of your cards, so. But you can store them however you want, and uh, if you have the uh, Aftershock uh, big box, it won't even matter. So let's make sure some of these uh, cards include the errata here. Let's see, what's an easy one to tell? Uh, where's Natalia? She's easy to tell. Of course, I can't find Natalia. Here we go. Look at this one. <clears throat> These uh, are very nice. Yeah, the trays are awesome. And also, I think even if you just had the base game, you could still use this because you could lean your cards back instead of kind of perpendicular. There's some more. We have a trash over there, right? Yep. Oh god, these cards are so nice. Um, dang it, this is not the Natalia deck. I'm trying to think of another. Oh, there was the guy missing the health, right? Darius. Or was that a stretch goal? I think that was actually he was in the redemption box. I think. Where is Natalia's deck at? Actually, original copy. I know that one. That one had some Moretta. She's in here. Or is that here? You? Yeah, it's probably here. Right here. Oh, nice. Well, that's disarm. That's disarm. Is to say, yep. So this includes. So that includes the errata. So confirmed. All right. So yeah, your cards here will have the errata in them. Um, go ahead and put these back in here. We'll set this aside. So that is the base game. We won't bother opening up all the cards because we have another video of us uh, doing a very thorough unboxing of all of the base game stuff when it first got in originally. Got the nice little pack of silk. And this was the new new chest. This is the new rule book, right? Yeah. So that's the base game done. Set this aside. Do you want the stretch goals? Or yeah, I'll do the stretch goals next. Uh, this is the stretch goal box. This is reduced in size. This used to be uh, the same size as this, the uh, core game. And that was uh, difficult to handle at conventions and stuff. So, And there was a lot of wasted space. So we're trying to reduce that wasted space and flatten our boxes out. Because all this needs to hold are the uh, trays, the punch board, and the minis. <coughs> and sometimes cards. 
So this one has the uh, punch board, the map tile, and then another cool new tray. This is trash. So this this tray here is pretty cool. It holds all the cards, all your decks, um, all the minis here. Very nice and concise. You'll have your dividers, your decks, storage solution here and then all of your figures and you got a nice nice uh, new vac train that holds these things very sturdily is that a word sturdily very sturdy all right so that's that looks good um, I think it's gonna look that. let's go back in here I love these new, these new slim, slim boxes Expansion next. All right. This was the Kickstarter exclusive expansion in the first Kickstarter. This one had quite a bit of a rata. I'm glad to get this one fixed up. Two new stages, four new stages, two tiles. Some fire tokens for that uh, Ashes to the Eternal stage, which is now... Is that the normal feel that you're used to? Or does it feel different? No, it feels... Yeah, it feels the same. It, it, looks like, it looks a little more crisp, but I know the art's the same and the files didn't change, but it looks like a little brighter, like almost. I'm not sure. Maybe I just haven't seen it in a while. Or mine's just dirty because I play it all the time. Um, uh, there's more silica. Does that prevent warping? It's nice having all these trays so nicely protected. They did a good job. This one, we included an extra set of rings in this one because the numbers were different. Um, which one's was just X, one, of X, one of each? X, best, right? best part. Yeah, there, that one, ha well, it has a whole new set for the, um, one, two, three, one, two, three, it should be 15, right? Three of each? Yeah, yeah because because uh, of the ninjas. Yeah, boxes look great, Scotty. These guys still look great. I love, whoops. We try to do as much uh, translucent plastic as possible. Oh, we gotta pay my mortgage apparently. It's been updates on my phone. All right, put this back in there. Typical dividers, cards. Yeah. Is this running wild setup? Like right, different, the, uh, no, the, um, it was the, I can check, it's the. It's the Ashes of the Eternal stage setup. Well, also the, the main one I can I can verify is the uh, One Step Ahead, which is the mountain one. But I'm pretty sure it's in there because the core game has it. And they've been nailing that stuff and we confirmed it with our, uh, with the, sam the other samples we got. So we got, these cards are so nice. Um, where is, there it is the alignment. Uh, Oni's Vessel, yeah, this is this, yeah, this is the Rata. Confirmed. So far so good, guys, no mistakes. Ah, get back in there. These trays are nice. They fit really snug. You just gotta be careful putting them back in. Now, obviously, we're gonna look over these a little more carefully after the video. This is the Twin Tiger expansion. Another one that was uh, from the core first Kickstarter. Um, with the two it is cute fighters in there. It is no secret that Adam and I were a little less than thrilled with the original Sculpts for Axel release, so thankfully the Aftershock backers got us. Did we show of, those yet? I don't know if we actually showed we them yet, so. Them. But we're gonna do pictures of them because that was like a new before and after of the new of the old Sculpts versus the new Sculpts. So more tokens, more punch. So we have some more uh, fighters, some fighters, some stages, enemy. We have an amazing sculpt. Holy cow, that came out. That looks better in person. You yeah. can't really see these very well, but um, we'll do pictures of these, like before and after of the old sculpts versus the new sculpts. Um, I am extremely thrilled to have a better Reese sculpt because I pretty much only play Reese. Um, yeah, I don't really know if you can really see it very well, but 
I the knives don't bend. They're nice. They're, that's like that's impressive how small those knives are, but how sturdy they are. Man, he looks good. I gotta start working out. Look like that. Yeah, the new the new sculpts from the AfterShock uh, Kickstarter. You can tell a little chunkier. Um, I'm not sure if you can. I don't have. I can grab the other one to compare, but. Yeah, we'll do we'll do photos of the old ones. That show very well in the, in the screen. We'll do pictures. Yeah, I mean you can't really see that well. But yeah, those are so. Those are now f completely like, all permanently replaced in uh, in Twin Tiger. Those other ones, yeah, so, those old sculpts are gone. Yeah, you'll never see those again, thankfully. <laughs> I mean, they were fine sculpts. No offense to the sculptor, it's just I, I wanted no, something no, more. The uh, Twin Tiger didn't originally come with. Like, yeah, I think this is new. Actually, I think we actually included a, a bonus one. This was unexpected. I don't know if that's, that's, that's pretty cool, but it's unexpected. It'll, so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure most people won't, won't be sneezing at extra colored bases. Actually, I think it might have originally came with them, I think, because I, I pushed for it. I'll double check that. Oh, yeah, the packet. Man, these are impressive so far. Very happy with it. I'm anxious to start opening up some of those Aftershock cards. Because we're not opening these cards up because we've, we've seen these. We've these are These are old news for us. Redemption one. So what we have a mean? question here. How's um, how's production going? Still looking good, October. Yeah, well, so far we're on track. Obviously everything's looking the good. And the factory is yeah, they're killing it. With so. us that everything is on on schedule. Yep, so. and we'll we'll keep everybody posted on updates. Uh, ops, absolutely. So make sure we'll set expectations well for what everyone's expecting their stuff. It's kind of why we're opening these right away, just so we can make sure we can confirm if all everything looks yeah, right. Keep them on schedule. Well. Now this, I love this because we. Uh, these tokens apparently are very easy to punch. Yeah, they all fell out. Yeah, because the when when you have these loose cards, they'll bang up against these. And luckily, these are really nicely cut. But that also results in somebody's getting punched out. But we fixed they it, all, so they now all fell in this nice little holder. Yeah, now you have a little tray. But uh, these are actually uh, another errata because these, the first printing of these, they included two sheets of punch board, which kind of threw off some of the decks because the resources are component limited. So you shouldn't have more than what you have in the one sheet of punch board. So we fixed that. Um, we fixed Darius's health because <laughs> he was he was missing his health before. Um, um, for sale at Gen Con, we're hoping to maybe have some of the original Street Master stuff for Gen Con. We're not going to be selling yeah. any aftershock stuff because we want because not before back backers need to get stuff before. Yeah, plus so. we're still aiming for October, obviously. So we'll keep everybody posted. But we um, might be we might be air shipping some of the core stuff to Gen Con. Yeah, we'll see. That. The reprint models get any kind of changes like material came in late. So, uh, that, yeah, Adam was talking about the Aftershock models uh, in comparison to the new Axel and Reese because the old Axel and Reese, uh, we weren't thrilled with how those came out. So part of the um, stretch, they were a stretch goal unlock uh, new versions of Axel and Reese as allies and rivals, which also included new sculpts, which was like a bonus because uh, we had time to do it. So none of the actual sculpts have changed. Um, I, it feel, I, I might be paranoid because, I mean, I'm looking at all these things and it looks like some of the miniatures are a different um, material, like almost sturdier, but I could be just thinking that because I've played so many games since I played the original Street Masters that um, I'm probably just assuming that, but all the sculpts should be unchanged except for Axel and Reese. And when he said about the Aftershock models, because the new sculpts with the new models are much more like chunky as in their poses and stuff, like it's a much more heroic pose. I don't think we'll bother unboxing this because it's just a few fingers. Yeah, no, no changes with that one. We'll make sure. I think the, they probably use the same uh, tray. Well, but we'll Redemption we'll looks good. Check it ourselves later. And there's some extra figure packs. No need these, um, right? That's the Eretta pack. Yeah, we'll just set those. So. Um, do we want to show this first? No, no, that's we'll do that last because we don't have the box. Let's do. Right, actually, we'll do, actually, no, we should. Yeah, let's. So this, I'll look at the cards. this is the. These are the cards from the AfterShock expansion. Um, and I wish uh, we had the miniatures. Plastic dividers, which are awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, we have, people haven't seen those yet. So this is just a, This is one going to be one of the trays in the box. It's not the actual final material, but it's like a shape. So they just ship the cards in that. So we'll open these up because I'm. Yeah, the reason why we had these plastic dividers because they would fit in here like that. Nice, uh, nice and tall. So these are the plastic dividers, um, like very, very sturdy material. Um, lots of dividers, lots of dividers. And this is just one pack. There's two packs of these. Here's the other pack. That's trash. Lots of plastic dividers. dividers. I'm trying to compare, figure, Think of what this is comparable to. Um, it's kind of like the uh, Smash Up. Like if you play Smash Up, they have those big plastic dividers. It's kind of like that. I don't know if it's the same exact. Not. But it's not quite like a credit card, but I mean, it's the same. It feels like a credit card, but it's not as. It's gonna hold it's up. Not <laughs> as thick as a credit card. Um, Can you get the tokens in a plastic shrink bag? They help avoid 
any beat up tokens. The luckily, uh, I've I've seen tons of those aftershock things um, popping out in the shipment. None, none of them get damaged. They fall into that tray really easily. It's nothing to be worried about damage wise. I love seeing this. So these are some of the new fighters. So we have Ronnie. Um, I love the rainbow <laughs> these call these fighters make. So many different colors when you have them all lined up. So here's Ronnie plus her upgrade cards. Um, I gotta find her story cards though. Those are upgrade cards. She looks great. You can go through those if you want. I find the rest of Murphy. I love That's one of the new aftershock fighters. Here's uh, Lita. Here's... Here's the rest of Murphy. Right there. These right. cards are nice. God, so we have this. Murphy here, who is another one of the new aftershock fighters. Bestial guy. He's got his reference card because he's got some special rules that apply to him because he's got two forms. Boom and boom. And then all his cool cards there's Ronnie's story lots and lots of cards here's Veda oh her perks in there too so there's Veda her story and her upgrade cards my new favorite favorite new fighter from the Aftershock expansion Veda she's a support character lots of manipulation of the battlefield she can do some healing She's pretty cool. Where's Lita? Did you not do her yet? Nope. Here, put his story cards in with her deck. There's Lita. Some of the Brook City fans might think she looks a little familiar. Yeah, the, the card, not only the cards look good, but they feel so dang good. I forgot how much I love the uh, card quality we got with this game. Um, oh, cool. Here is, they, 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 they put the uh, stories in with them. So those are all upgrades. Upgrades. Now you can sort those later, though. I know, I'm just, I kind of want to show them off. Because that's, that's a new thing we can show off is the, uh, the showdowns. We got missions here, mission cards, and new, some new loot cards. So fans of Street Masters will be excited to throw these new loot cards into the mix. Um, all kinds of new little abilities, gift receipt, um, a candy bar that's a twin tiger candy bar, um, flare gun, binoculars, what is this, adrenaline shot, all kinds of cool stuff. And then we have the mission cards, which is a new mechanic in the Aftershock expansion. Uh, things you can do in, in your turn besides from just punching enemies you can do little objectives and get um if you complete this objective you get mission tokens you can and here's use those uh for various effects here's the mission token reference cards which is a new thing also so yeah each player picks one of the picks a color and they get mission tokens and this is like the reference card this is the route that tells you the mission rules on the back side for like reference for them and then this is basically the effects you can spend mission tokens for like for example the the number five the highest one if you have five mission tokens you can make each fighter perform an action on your turn. So that's pretty powerful. So here's Project X and her showdown deck, which you can just explain the new showdown decks a little bit. If people <clears throat> are familiar with them, I'm sure, but. So now showdowns are basically like the uh, opposite side of fighter hero stories. Showdowns uh, are things the enemy can waste, the enemy, enemy deck can upgrade during a story. So um, there's some the story cards for it. Some of her upgrades, um, and then her enemy deck, Project X. No one's got any questions. They're just mesmerized by all these cards. It's hard, it's hard to keep track. <laughs> uh, the big box. We are we are uh, figuring that out. It should it should be imminent. Like uh, we thought they'd come with this shipment, but I guess not. That, that was the <clears> the <throat> new thing that they were you know working on. So they sent us all the stuff they reprinted and some of the new packing stuff but that's the big project so i'm pretty sure they saved that one for last so this is the biggest uh story deck to date the aftershock aftershock story stolen supplies 
Another uh, interesting thing about the, the, this expansion is it's the last time that Hero Stories will so have. So you were looking at the stretch goal box from the first campaign. We have not opened up the Street Masters Aftershock. Oh yeah, it's coming. That one's going to be after all this stuff. We're, that this, one's huge. <laughs> this right here is the Aftershock cards. This is the first of the new stuff. We still have to do the stretch goals, the Essence of Evil, the Redemption 2, and uh, that's a lot of stuff. I like these mission cards. These come out nice. All right, put these away. It's new loot. Um, I've showed everything. So. so these go. Let's put them in here. All right. So next up, we will do the here, aftershock before you stretch goals. Did you show off the stages? What's that? Show off the stages? No, I didn't have the tiles. Okay. The stage there's, there's four stages in the. Aftershock They're awesome. Thing. And this is this a huge heavy box right here? Is the aftershock? Stretch goals. This is just the stretch goals. Let's let's get this out of my first here. Go for it. I need help. It's a lot of cards. I'll just get this the shrink off. Will we get Essence of Evil if we purchase Aftershock later from the website? Um. Oh, uh, if you haven't gotten anything, like if you got the Kickstarter, it comes with the pledge. If you want to get it, yeah, we should have. We usually bundle available. the Kickstarter stuff uh, through direct sales. Kickstarter exclusive means either through Kickstarter conventions or direct sales is when they can get it. This we well, should do Essence of Evil first. This thing is yeah. massive because that, that was like the exclusive thing. It's All right, like so you can blame box. Brady that he wants to do. Yeah, that. Yeah, this will be fast. It's just it's it's one little thing. I mean, it's a cool looking box though. This is the uh, Kickstarter exclusive expansion that came with the uh, aftershock base pledge. Um, it's kind of like a size of the Legend of Oni. All right. So this one, we are now doing rule sheets, which will give you a little, just an overview of what's in there. That's going to be the kind of the standard going forward. Um, this one has a few of the colored uh, defense tokens, a little preview of what we have unlocked in the stretch goals. Um, some of the uh, surge tokens that uh, the new enemy deck uses. We have... Two new stages. Um, we have some really cool looking miniatures here. So now we're gonna show you a taste of some of the new sculpts because these are these are all new sculpts. Um, here I'll, pull, I'll use it. I'll show you guys. This is one of the big guys <laughs> compared to uh, uh, Hanzo here. Stormthrall. Wow, he came out. Look how good he came out. Jeez. Okay, so yeah, these are definitely an upgrade. Um, you guys are gonna be really happy with these. Let me see if I can show these here. This is Hanzo, uh, the fighter. Scotty, you won't this. believe how good these look. Um, I'm trying to. Can you? Is this, is it focusing on him on your um, screen? Hanzo is. It's a little blurry. You can kind of. You can see how good it looks, but it's still kind of blurry. See, so he's much pictures, chunkier, though. much chunkier than the other street. Like his sword, fighters. it's like it's like a thin piece of plastic, but it feels really sturdy. And this is a storm thrall, so he kind of towers over over Hanzo here. And I gotta show these off. These are the. Um, these are the storm. Uh, what are these called? I forget the the narrow echoes, guard. The echo. like the storm echoes. Yeah. So these are like a, a negative resource the enemy has. It spawns around the board. They're kind of like the shadows of the ninja, of the storm thralls or the narrow guard. There's a coochie. Yeah, we'll do pictures. Sorry, it's it's hard to get the focus on with the, with this. He looks yeah. good though. <laughs> um, put those back. Yeah, these look these look fantastic. I'm really happy with these new sculpts. Yeah, it's a shame we don't have the. Uh, the aftershock uh, sculpts. I'm yeah, that's yeah. Coming in the, with the box. We'll we'll do it. We'll re do a re preview of the aftershock stuff. Actually, we should we should check to make sure that they weren't in there because I didn't see them in there. I know, but they, they there was like a foam thing with with like bases cut out. I know I didn't see them. In, I I looked through I'll that. I'll double check before we. Yeah, like, don't throw it away or anything. It, are these just the extra figures from the first expansion? I'd assume so. so I, don't we, I don't think we did that with aftershock. Specials. Oh, nice. Oh, this is Redemption 2. This is the boss set for Redemption. Yeah. yeah. So that is uh, Essence of Evil. Now we can do the stretch goals. Big old boxes. This is... We could check this one down. <laughs> the gills here. So we have the rule sheet. Double sided because there's so much stuff. New stages. And there's a few of new stages. Yeah, so we have... The new stage for the uh, schooled, which is right here, the classroom with the possessed students. We have spring break, which is uh, a really cool outdoor festival. 
Uh, we have a bunch of tokens here to represent rivals and allies, um, and then we have various resources for some of the fighters, uh, some of the enemies. Like these, these are, are, these glitch, are for the, yeah, these are for the, the glitch guys. tokens. Then we also have the um, appendages right here for uh, Recycle Lord, which are like his minions essentially. Um, more uh, color and defense. And ally token. Yep. <clears throat> this is the uh, peer pressure, which is the docks um, for the uh, the mobsters, and then here's their restaurant Mateos. Uh, it's called uh, Mob Rules. Um, this one's one of my favorite stages. I love designing this one. I think it was peer pressure the one. How heavy is the threshold box? It's almost as heavy as a core game. <laughs> it's 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 hefty. Was peer pressure the one pun that I came up with? No, I was proud of that one. Don't try to take it away from me. So we have a whole sheet of color defense tokens. These are just for people who choose to want to have different colors for their. There's actually two sheets of those. Yes. We threw in a bonus one, so you got plenty. Yep. And then we have uh, this one's cool. The neon streets here. The This was a blast. This is the dance party. This is all the rave. Um, this one it was kind of a chore to design because I didn't really know what direction to go with it. It's like I wanted. I think it'd be cool to have like a dance fight off type thing, but it was hard to make it work. But it, that end result is really cool. And then we have the one of my. This is my absolute favorite theme is the um, the movie theater, which is um, real terror R E E L. Um, and then we have the um, estate of decay. That one Scotty was proud of. Uh, it took me a while to come up with that one. There's dice. These are, these are turbo, turbo dice. dice. Look at all these cards. They can't even look fit at, them in all, a, look at all. We couldn't cards. even fit a, like a, a well. We had to just put all the cards from from one side to the other. Like it's it's crammed full of cards. So we have this tray here, tons of miniatures. Now one thing we'll note here, just so everybody's aware, uh, because they mentioned this to us, and it's probably going to be like this in the finals. I'm assuming is when they did the counts for the Cifarelli family. They actually included two extra Bonnies. Yeah, no, there's two extra. Um, the other guy, uh, Tommy. Oh, Tommy. Yeah, there's two extra Tommies because they're supposed to. He was like the. He, he was the minion of the three count. They included five of him, so they only had three of the plumber. So they had to put the other two plumbers over here. So you'll have enough miniatures, but he, he doesn't get a spot in the well, and you'll have two extra Tommies. That was the easiest solution we could think of, given the time. We didn't want to like set everything back or cost any more in production. So. That's a, a nice solution because we actually had a little space here for just, um, I think this is where the turbo dice were going to go, but now you can now, get these let me, two there. Let me see the plumber real quick. He's right here. Let me, no, take him out. Oh. Because I'm going to see, maybe maybe the plumber will fit in Tommy's well. Um, if that's the case, then you have extra. So yeah, I'm sure you can figure it. Oh, his guns. Where, where does the plumber go normally? I think he's over here, actually. Is that him? No, there he is. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah, so he might be able to fit in Tommy's well, but yeah, his gun, his pistol hanging out. But when we figure out the uh, Street Masters um, store, miniature storage solution, it won't matter anyway. <laughs> so, um, ooh, here's Brady's favorite. Here's Cindy. Oh, yeah. Actually, this is probably my favorite, <laughs> Bartholomew. <laughs> Look how tiny he is. Look at a little goblin of a knife. It's perfect. Um, and then Celine. These miniatures are so good. Celine came out amazing. Oh. Chainsaw Bride. And then another, another copy of Axel here. So here's here's Genesis. And Genesis has wings that detach. So actually you can you can glue them on if you want, but you can also have removable wings if you want. Oh, we gotta show off Scotty. Where's uh where's Reese? There's the Axel's over here. You see Reese Why? over there? Right there. Oh, because of because of the Yeah. I just don't see Reese. Oh, here he is. He's right there. So here's a uh, good old Scotty. Scotty Mick. Whoops. Probably hard to see, but really cool sculpt. Came out amazing. All these sculpts look so good. Blacklist is really up in the uh, miniatures is Renee game here. Renee and her robo arm. Another, if you're fans of the... Uh, oh, he wants to see Recycler. Brooke City. Yeah, Recycler looks awesome. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I didn't... He's big. <laughs> Here, compared to a fighter. We wanted to keep them into one in one hex to keep it easier for gameplay. Um, we want to keep all the miniatures and street masters in one hex. We want to avoid any weird rules for multiple hexes, but he came out looking really big and cool. Ooh. Jack. Jack looks pretty bad. Jack looks pretty badass. Alola. Looks awesome. Man, these are so good. And I know lots of people like Chan Chan. There's the there's the panda. Looks more panda-ish. Dude, this, look at the detail on this guy. Like, I'm really impressed with these miniatures. Yeah, these guys, these will be a lot more fun to paint than the first round. Anything we haven't shown yet? Did you show Celine? Oh, did you see Yopa? Look how cool she looks. 
these these are some great miniatures, guys. Um, I, I have hats off to the, uh, the factory and the sculptors and everything. Um, so you want to see some cards? Do some cards for this one. This goes on top. So I know where to start. Yeah, I know there's a lot. Uh, let's pull. pull the out. I'll, I'll pull these all out. We won't open all of them, but. Um, yeah, uh, Alter Quest should benefit from all this experience we're getting working oh. with these factories and Over, stuff. Overview cards. Pull. Yeah, Over yeah, grab those. Here are all the regular dividers. Uh, we do, you have the plastic dividers in the Aftershock box, but these are all the regular dividers. Yeah, going forward, them. all those Three Masters products will have both dividers for people who have both. Such a pain. So we have the Jack Story. Uh, there's some overview cards right there. There's some more overview cards. All right, we'll look at those because those are new. Turbo mode. Here's some more overview cards. Three cards. Showdowns or no? Uh, the factory did a good job collating, collating all the decks. So unlike uh, what you saw in Brook City, it'll be a lot easier to get your decks all together because. Just, oh, yeah, like, we got some reading. some heavily requested Max and uh, Clint and Tiger story decks. People have been wanting those. We got some Mickey Scott story deck. Lots you guys can imagine decks. how much of a pain it was to review all these cards. Yeah, there's a lot of text. A lot of text. Ooh, Raven. That looks good. So if you look at the number of errata cards from the first wave of stuff, it's not too bad. So we have three types of overview cards. We have fighter decks, which there's a ton. And every fighter deck overview card will have a little story or a little, you know, like blurb about how they play and also the complexity. So, for example, you'll see Kiryu is a complexity one. And then let's see uh, one of the higher complexities. Max is a four. Um, do we, I forget, we don't have any fives, do we? Um, as far as fighters? Complexity. Murphy's a four. I think uh, one of the Redemption fighters. Ah, there we go. Yokai. Yeah. Yokai is a five. He's hard to control. <laughs> so don't start with him. Um, and again, these are the backsides got a question mark. So if you want to just play randomly, it's like, oh, shuffle them up. And let's say I'm going to play Chan Chan. And the same thing goes with uh, enemy decks. Not nearly as many of these as fighters. But same goes with these. You want to play against a fighter or an enemy, shuffle them up randomly. I'm going to draw Davenport Manor, complexity three. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, and then last story. up, we have stage decks. Shuffle them up randomly. We're playing the Ceremony Complexity 2. So that's actually kind of fitting the Ceremony and uh, Davenport Manor. Which right. allies and rivals? I think that's. That's a lot of. Look, <laughs> just show off the amount of allies and rivals you get in this. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is, is turbo mode rules. These are all the rivals and allies in the stretch goal box. I doubt they fit. I wonder if I should start storing them. No, they probably wouldn't fit all in there because they have dividers in there. But all right, let's go ahead and move on. We got one more thing to open. Well, I guess the best way to just put them in the lid, maybe, or just put them, just put them where you got them. Well, I know, but some of them are open, so it's gonna get scattered about. Here, before you, here, make two sides here. Hold on, one second. No, no. yeah, one second. Have to organize these later. This pains me so much with my my OCD just shoving cards in without having to organize it at all. I'll, something to do later, I guess. But I should be designing Alter Quest decks. Yeah, we have a lot of Alter Quest to do. So as you can tell, your stretch goal box is uh, going to be overflowing with stuff. Um, we do, it was a combination of both, uh, David, for the uh, complexity levels. We took a uh, kind of a community survey with our playtesting group. Um, and uh, we just kind of, you know, used our own. And it's, it's, it's kind of more of a, not necessarily like how difficult the decks are in, in game. It's more just the complexity about how to understand them from like a and obviously standpoint. It's, so. it's a very, very it's abstract a, number. Yeah, it's, it's kind of just, it's, it's just a rough framework. It's not necessarily like a hard and fast formula. Because there are two like fighters that are complexity too that might feel more complex than the other one. Um, but it's just so abstract. Anthony asks, uh, any chance Aftershock will be at Gen Con? This is just stay tuned, but we can't make any of I would say probably yet. not, because we, we're... Yeah, well, I, we'll just we'll just say stay tuned, because we can't really talk about any time frames besides what the factory gives us. 
we don't want to set any expectations, so we'll... And plus, it's out of our hands. Once, yeah. once it leaves the factory, we don't yeah. have no idea how long Any official take. word will come through updates, so that's all we can say. This is Redemption 2. Um, this is something Bray and I did not want to do. Uh, <laughs> but I the, hated uh, it. The uh, Kickstarter um, was very, very adamant. They wanted to play as these bosses, because um, the bosses were cool. So, we like to give people what they want. Um, this is... a pretty much almost tw it's almost twice as big as the first redemption box. It's the well, first redemption box has six, six fighters. This has, fighters. 10, this has 10. So it's almost there. But <clears throat> because of the just the well, I guess yeah, it has the same amount of content with the story decks and everything, but I don't think this tuck box is strong enough to hold this big tray. So, as usual, these fighters are a little more uh, involved, so they all have their own resources with represent tokens here. So you have the, the boss character tokens, the allies and rivals for stories. Um, yeah, you have the cool new little rule sheet there. You have uh, resources. You have Tindal tokens for Project X. You have Mercy tokens for Mac. Okay. It does a toggle. Oh. Yokai okay. uses power. And you have a bunch of a bunch of cards. Oh, it's cards, man. So These those... things are just packed to the brim. Cards. Yeah, so this one is deeper than that one. Um... It has to be. Dump it out. Jeez. Look at all these again, card backs. Regular, regular dividers. Oh, if you need them. You got the Don here, fighting with Genesis. He was super fun to design, really complex. Uh, you got the Proxy here, pumping himself up with some Vandal Serum. You got Project X, which her, her card accents match her color of her vomit, which is awesome. I love that card back, it's so good. Dividers, colorful, colorful dividers. And this is our last one, so I'm gonna open some of these, take a look here, take a looky. So one of the little surprises we added to this one, um, here, the one of the little surprises we add, could the sleeve cards fit in the trays? Would I have to use a knife? Um, the uh, for which if if, if you if, mean the aftershock trays, yes, um, that they were definitely designed to be. Yeah, uh, we will the big box one. Uh, as Actually, far as I mean, the I can, I can take this right here, and I think I have some sleeve cards. Yeah, they, they those are the the card wells like these for example. These are fit snug for shipping, so you probably can't fit those, and you probably wouldn't want to because you can't fit the dividers in there. But yeah. um, I think I'll check the the core game. The yes. core game might have some give for sleeves. Yes, just so you know, this is a tray from the abstract box. These are sleeve cards, and those are big sleeves. Those are the the FFG sleeves, aren't so they? They do fit. They do fit straight on there, so they are designed to fit that. So we got some stories, but just a tip for street, playing Street Masters: don't sleeve your cards. There's too many cards. There's too many cards. <laughs> Oops. So we got a Coochie Spider deck here, it's kind of sorting. Somehow this got a little blurry for me. I'm not sure if it's blurry for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and give give a preview of some of these decks though, because they the card camp card art look, camp looks awesome. Card quality is fantastic. Nice, has a nice slide to it with the finish, but very durable. Let's see, we got a Coochie's deck here. And then, so yeah, as I was saying before, uh, the sleeve card question, a little bonus we added that I think was probably unexpected um, because we didn't announce it, but people have been asking a lot for um, rival and ally versions of the core game fighters. So one thing we did, is in um, Essence of Evil, we had an ally rival version of uh, Kiryu, uh, because he's, he's, that was a story about him um, becoming a Kuchi. Um, and then in this Redemption 2 box, we added uh, rival and ally versions of the other five Korean fighters. So now, um, in your collection, you should have uh, rival ally versions of all the core game fighters. Plus we have some extras, like we have Lita, a new version of Lita um, with her new art from Aftershock. Got a rival ally version of Tizzletottle, Tizzle whatever her name is. Got Genesis here. Came out looking good. Oh yeah, those are awesome. So then, we have Akuchi. So Akuchi's card back looks awesome. Some of his card art I'll show off here. My video is kind of blurry. I'm not sure if it is for you guys. Hopefully not. Got his fighter card. Uh, we got, this is Stormbound. It looks like it might be reversed in the video. I'm not sure. Is it reversed? No, it's not cool. And then we have Sweeping Static. 
really good art. Uh, it's probably my favorite piece of art from his deck, from the sky, Fist from the Sky. Awesome. Uh, we got Focus Lightning. Really good card art. This one's kind of a play on the um, Kyoryu's, uh, one of Kyoryu's cards. It's kind of a mirror image of it, just more evil. Same with this one, Final Tempest. Really cool looking cards. And he has his story deck, his upgrade cards, as everybody has. Which is something we cursed ourselves into. I'll do a few more decks here. Come on. Alright, we got Project X. We got the rest of her story. Part 1 and 2. Miss Matrix. God, these cards are so pretty. So here's her card back. It's Matrix. Nice little uh, teal color. Really cool. Got quick upload. Another image of... Uh, Oh, booting up. Very cool. Hack and slash, that was pretty cool. Another pun. And it's more enemy art, more enemy art. <laughs> AFK. <laughs> so her whole shtick is she plays cards in different play areas, not just her own. Um, so it's like her hacking the game, essentially. Her story deck and her upgrade cards. See, where's the rest of Project X? I'm gonna throw these packets in there. I'll make sure there's no meat in that box. Yeah. We'll find out the uh, details on the big box. Yeah, this art came out really, really impressive. Um, it's just so damn good. All right, so we got Project X. I've had some complaints during playtests about her card names, people not liking them, but oh, I'm very happy with them, so I kept them. All right, so we have Project X, awesome card back, spewing vomit everywhere. She's got a little reference uh, card here for her tokens that she uses. She uses tendrils, which are the uh, little tentacles here. She's got two tendril tokens. Um, this one was uh, heavily designed by... Um, our developer, Mitch Schroeder, did a great job. Um, this Project X, uh, there's, yeah, here's her, one she's snuggling her teddy, her teddy bear. It's called Cuddle Time, while she's whipping Jackal around. <laughs> then we got uh, Tinta Kicks. It's pretty awesome. We got uh, Whipsy Daisy. I loved, I loved naming these cards. No More Ouchies, this is kind of her defensive card. Uh, come and play is pretty scary. <laughs> Out of my heady boom. I'm not really sure where that came from. <laughs> I think my kids used to say heady boom when they talked about their head. Um, burpee, which is great. <laughs> Tag, you're in. Hold those cards if you should hold them up for like a couple seconds longer. All right. Yeah, I was. I was. I knew there's a lot of decks. So I was trying to show some. There's some uh, story decks, upgrade cards. Let's see what else we got? Oh yeah, we got. Um, we got Yokai and Shin Yokai. So we had a lot of help from our um, playtesters developing some of these story decks because there were just so many to go through. So we credited them in the rules, so hats off to them. Great job. Yes, the game. next game we do after Alter Quest will not have any campaign story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's going to be straight. This stuff, it just, you would not believe how much it slows down development and and like, I think the beauty of this game is the variety and just playing just different matchups and I think this kind of like takes away but I mean, it's it's hard to, it's hard to complain about it because it's, it's a very cool product oh, and it's... Oh, wait, show the back, this, uh, show the back of the stretch goal box. Uh, wait, no, I'm thinking of the Aftershock box, aren't I? What? Let me see the back of that. No, you're, yeah, you're this is just art. Yeah, the, the back of the, Peter says with the huge roster of fighters, I think Black should come out with a um, nice wallpaper poster of the fighters and a fighter select screen. So the back of the Aftershock box, we'll, we'll show that off when we get it, 
but it has everything. It has little icons for everything in the game. All the fighters, all the enemies, and all the stages. So it looks like a video game select screen. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And and but we also the, the reason the overview cards were such a big deal is because that's kind of the same idea, but it's more of a modular way to do it. So we can keep adding cards to that deck. So you have like this deck you can pass from the table saying, here, choose your fighter. And it's like you're just shuffling through the cards. But yeah, we will probably do like a season approach in the future. Like here's season two of Street Masters and I have the, the character select screen and the, you know, all the different decks you can choose. So here's Yokai. This guy, this guy is the complexity five. He's, he's kind of a beast. So um, his whole shtick is he, he doesn't have a charge, uh, charge value. He can use his action to attack and flip over, but he'll suffer damage based on his power. But he, he's like really powerful on this side. So it's a kind of a push your luck type thing. But he's really fun and really challenging. He, he's a really, really brutal fighter, but he can kill himself as well. <laughs> Breaking the bonds. Uh, the same artwork from before, same artwork, same artwork. And then we got his story and upgrade cards. That's four of the fighters. I want to show off some of the Dawn. Did, um, was there uh, a Genesis in here? A rival ally version? I forget if that was, that unlock was a rival ally unlock. The card? Or the figure? Both. I saw the figure, I showed off the figure. It was in here? Okay. Yeah, I showed off Make it sure, because, uh, there, for some reason there's, uh, a rival ally of Genesis here, but I forget if the stretch goal unlock, you can go to the campaign page, was a rival ally, because I'm hoping the card is in there. That's what I'm... I'm pretty sure it was. Just but... making sure. I mean, it would be on the, um... Where was I? Wait, here, Max. Max deck is cool. Oh, this, this stretch goal box is heavier than the base game. It's a lot of cards, man. One thing the base game has more of is like cardboard, like more punt, more map tile. Actually, no, that has more. I think. I think about it. All right. So one of uh, the guys I was actually really excited to design for this was Mac. Um, he's one of my favorite enemy decks. In, um, in the game, because I love the Twin Tigers expansion. So Mac is all about uh, trying to balance out his mercy, and uh, he can do a lot more when he has no mercy, but he, he, ha he gets, he gets uh, benefits from gaining mercy. So it's about kind of balancing all stuff out. Like, for example, um, uh, this non-lethal means you gain mercy when you do this, um, and if you do, you add plus two dice to the attack. Is this the same? Yep, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the same, just because if somebody bought this retail, I wanted to make sure Ooh, they had... Six spaces and attack, stealing, plus one direct damage. Yeah, it should be. Because I, I only added two two duplicates, because um, if somebody got this... Because you already have her token anyway, so... Because she's in um, she's in the, the think, Dawn's I deck. I think managing this product model is almost harder than designing content in this game. <laughs> uh, while they're down, kick them while they're down. So he's, yeah, he's, he, gets, he gets cool perks from gaining... Mercy, I love that art. He looks great in that art. That's kind of like my ideal. I guess while he's uh, visual of Mac, while he's showing this off, if anybody has any uh, decks they want to take a quick peek at before we wrap up today, just let us know in the comments. Um, yeah, we can we can show off decks since we're kind of winding down here. We have a lot. Where's what are these for? I'm just they're they're correlated differently to make them equal size, so they put some story cards with other decks. I'm trying to find the. Uh, the other, where's the other second? So we got proxy. Somebody, went, somebody requested to see the proxy. Oh yeah, I'm getting him. I'll get to him next after this one. The Don is next, and then the proxy, I guess. I like the Don a lot. Give me the proxy. I'll uh, I'll open that up. All right, so the Don. He uses uh, the Genesis figure quite heavily in his deck. The idea here is um, he's kind of like learned his from his mistakes of, of kind of manipulating Genesis, and now he's kind of trying to work with her, um, but she, it comes with a cost. So here's his reference card about how he can use Genesis. Um, and she's in his deck right there. She's this. She's an ally. Whenever she suffers damage, she'll go away, but he can bring her back. Um, yeah, this is cool. The gloves come off. That's off his card back. But he's uh, got one of those, um, uh, which one is that? Power Soldier? No, it's one of the ninjas, the Yuri ninjas. 
Um, <laughs> it's funny. There's uh, this one's called Lowball Him, and it's uh, the Genesis diving from the sky, and Don's pointing up, distracting pucks, and it's kicking the crotch. <laughs> Uh, this is a great one too. Kiss the ring. And then uh, Ling Ring influence, one of his tactics. A formal request. This is when he can get help from people. Old habits. Waiting in the wings. That's a cool piece there with Genesis back there. And then uh, Bring the Best. This is when he relies on his allies. So you got his story decks and his upgrade cards. Very cool deck. I'm pretty, even though I was reluctant to do a Redemption 2, I'm... these fighter decks are some of the best fighter decks we did. Secretly. All right, here's oh. one. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. It's nice they correlate these uh, upgrades into the deck, Seven, but I'm eight. anal and I have to get them all separated. Show this one off, or which one is that proxy? Oh, yeah, someone's on the proxy. So, here's the cool proxy art. He is obviously all about uh, managing his Vandal Serum doses, so that's represented through a lot of his different card effects and gaining power and losing power and stuff. So, um, he has uh, traded Vandal cards that he can have in play, and he has to exhaust them or suffer consequences because if he doesn't keep his dosage up, he starts suffering with withdrawal. Uh, there's threat acquisition. We have <laughs> kickbacks. He's very, uh, got a corporate vibe, just like his enemy deck. There's a severance. <laughs> uh, fully briefed, one of his Vandal tactics, studying up on the effects of Vandal. Here's his overdose card. It's pretty uh, crucial oh, to his. You didn't share this on Blacklist Facebook page? No, that's for the group, yeah, just the group. I, I thought it did, uh, totally forgot. Side effects may vary. It's pretty cool. Man, these cards came out so good. Uh, ransack. And then uh, new opportunities. And then you have all of his story cards and upgrades. Selena, Ooh. please. Oh, yeah. Selene, Selene, Selene. So I got those. These kids are loud. They got finished up Stardew Valley, apparently. God, her art looks great. All right, so we got Celine. There's the back of her deck. She has a, a, re a five blood resource tokens that she uses in her deck. And there's a uh, reference card for it called a Morbid Mortgage. She's bound to her house. So... We have a condition that she's got a unique condition she has in play called uh, Davenport's Dew. This uh, re this is kind of her having to sp having to pay the house in blood, or otherwise suffering consequences. Uh, there's her <laughs> her ability meat hook. She is all about butchery, and then clipping the wings. Hindering people with her chainsaw. <laughs> the butcher's block. It's her wearing her mask. Chainsaw on somebody. Uh, meet the family. It's very cool art. I love the theme of this one. Maniacal ways. That's a cool piece. Just imagine that chasing you through an old haunted house. And then a pound of flesh. That's a really good piece of her. No pun intended. Uh, Bloodthirst, that's pretty cool. They got some really dyna dynamic art of her in here. It's great. Never a wrong blood right. Man, these some of these pieces I didn't see until the tail end of the development cycle are some of the best pieces, I think. And then they got our upgrade cards, our story. story Any news about your next game? Uh, no, we're, we're holding off on talking about it or working on it until we finish up with Alter Quest. Yeah, um, trying to stay focused. We're, uh, after this unboxing, we're gonna be going back into design work. Uh, we wanna design all the content and then play test it as much as we can until it goes to print. Um, when are you going to announce your next projects? <laughs> uh, so I just mentioned that. Um, probably not until we at least get all Alter Quest off to the printer. Um, we're Our goal this month is try to keep ourselves 
not too distracted by this new stuff because I want to play this really bad and, and just have friends over and, and explore it all. But we got to make sure we finish up um, pretty much all the design. All the design should be done the next couple weeks here. We got to focus really hard on just finishing all the decks. Um, and then the tail end of that will be just make sure we fi finalize all the stories because the stories are kind of the last piece. We have like narrative stuff started, but we want to make sure we do all the intricate story stuff at the very end once all the other content's designed. And then it's just all about playtesting and, you know, mocking it up and, and just editing and all that stuff. So hopefully by the end of this month, we'll have a really good handle on how much time's left on the development cycle. But it shouldn't be that. I mean, since we do this full time, it shouldn't be too insane to have most of this done this month. Getting these back in here is going to be a pain to separate them. And now I'm not regretting it. This product is an insane value. It's it's like these fighters are all super awesome and unique and powerful and just challenging to play. But like they all have stories and there's more new rivals and allies in here and it's just it's an awesome product. It's really cool. It's kind of painful having to separate all these to make them fit. Oh well, back into this box. I, I wish we, I was expecting to get the aftershock box so I could have this all sorted out and just take it home and play it all. But now I gotta wait for that box to get in because I want to have it all organized before I start playing. Well, I introduced my non-gamer brother-in-law to this game last week. He messaged me to ask when we were playing it again. He loved it. That's awesome. I always love hearing that kind of stuff. I took this to my neighbor's house one time when I first moved into my new house. And his, like, I think it was his eight or nine-year-old son played as uh, Brandon and just, like, slaughtered the board. And he just fell in love with the game. And it just made me feel really good. I'll be honest with you. Like, after, you know, we start seeing all this stuff come back in we're actually anxious to do a little bit more street master stuff um yeah i swore it off for so like, long yeah. after after working Sorry. on this product right here i was like i'm done with street masters for like another year but every time we take a break and, and see it all come back in it makes us you know excited to do it again so you know that's even possible we'll do a little bit more street masters content um before the before the next big game um which i would be excited about doing it's because um, we definitely want to get uh the next big game like really far along um, and before the Kickstarter, so we'll, we'll have to have some strategy discussions to see what we're doing next. Someone asked, will it be available on your store? Yeah, we should be selling the um, most of the products on our store. Um, this this is not sitting very pretty here. Well, I know, none of it is. It's, it's, um, yeah, we, after, after the Kickstarter fulfillment, we'll sell our remaining inventory of uh, Street Masters um, before we decide what we're doing about a reprint. Are you super excited about the the next game? Yeah, uh, right right now we're super excited. To, I'm super excited to, to try some of this out because opening this up, I, I get I'm very fickle when it comes to stuff to be excited about. I'm like I want I want to play this out next. We just saw it, um, but yeah, I'm also excited to finish up playtesting for Alter Quest because the stories I'm really anxious to get back to those. And seeing this product, Alter Quest will look as good, if not better, uh, as a, as a product than, than this. So. Um... Please make a superhero version of your game even better if you can get the Marvel and DC license. I prefer not to do a licensed game, um, but superhero is always one that gets uh, passed around the uh, the quote unquote office, which is our Skype chat um, about one yeah, of the. Yeah, there's, there's no way we'd ever get the Marvel license, or I I wouldn't want to do that. I wouldn't want to be <laughs> mixed mm -hmm. up in that. I mean, they would sell really well, but it'd be a lot of work. Um, ah, I get it. I'm super excited. <laughs> so yeah, there's. Um, there's discussions a lot. Uh, our our next project goes back and forth a lot about what we're doing next. So like, yeah, we're not we're not gonna so, announce 100 percent certainty what we're doing next. But I will say these right here are the figures, for, the figure pack for the bosses. Um, so there wasn't the aftershock bosses that we haven't got yet. You can see the figures for at least we don't have their minions, but we have. Well, let me see uh, uh, Project X real Project quick. X and oh man, that came out amazing. And the proxy. Gosh, she looks. These miniatures are really good. This is the proxy. I gotta send, I gotta send uh, the sculptor a bouquet of flowers or something. Yeah, this is. The, I think this is the same sculptor that worked on uh, Alter Quest too. So I'm pretty excited about that. She looks great. Yeah, I saw her in the stretch goals already, but she looks awesome. Um, I think we showed everything else. There's. Uh, I'm not sure if we showed this one, but this is. Did we show kitchen. I don't think we did. He was in the stretch goals. I don't think we showed him up. This is awesome. Oh, let me see this. Uh, there's Kenshin. Yeah, those wings worked really good. You you did you did the wing test? Yeah. Yeah, this is the the detachable wings. They stay on, but they can take them off pretty easily. Yeah, we we prefer not to do too much licensed stuff when possible because it's just most of the fun we have with the game design is 
is making the world, like developing a world in that setting. And we're not, we're not opposed to playing in somebody else's world because, you know, for example, we did Walking Dead No Sanctuary and that was a blast because we were huge fans of the show, but we'd almost just prefer to do our own setting inspired by that, essentially. Any gameplay vids on Aftershock coming out soon? I, I would like to do a gameplay video. Um, I'm going to find out when we should expect the box in. Yeah, because we want the tiles and the figures for Aftershock because yeah. I'd like to do... A play to a show a playthrough of using. I want to play as Veda, and I want to organize this content before I start. You know, digging really deep into it. We might do a just run through some a game this week with a friend just to make sure everything's you know. Start when we make those videos first person. Well, that be, be, we could set up the video like a camera like this, be, like between us. Maybe I don't know. Did you show the comprehensive manual? Um, oh, uh, the. Do you mean the? Um, the book, the compendium. Uh, I have a rough sample of that one at my house. Yeah, we, we don't have We've a final sample yet. yet. Um, they haven't sent us that final yet. I think I think that might actually be with the uh, with Scotty. I think Scotty's getting getting or got a copy of that, so I'll, I'll confirm. But um, but I just have the the sample we've shown already, which is it looks great, but it's not final. The binding wasn't final, and the the cover you spot UV wasn't final. So that's what we got um any other questions in the last couple minutes we can answer otherwise we'll just get back to work on uh alter quest which is gonna be hard looking at all this new product here in front of us thanks for joining us guys yep yep uh we'll uh follow up in any comments on you know our, our twitter feed or facebook and we'll answer questions there um but thanks for thanks for stopping in we're super pumped about this um ready to get this out to you guys and we'll so. definitely do another video when we get the big box and we'll yeah. show that off yep. you know? All right, see you guys. Thanks again. Um, if you guys make your own, super, oh yeah. Uh, done.